Hi there everyone, this is Ashley with Marshflower Studio. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cute little pineapple. So if you live in the south, pineapples are a sign of welcome. Uh, you'll see them as little statues outside front doors. Um, a lot of people have them as their door knocker. Uh, you'll also see lots of shirts and stickers with the pineapples on it. Um, just as kind of a, a visual, hey, you're welcome to come in, come say hi, we're friendly, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, so this is a really simple, simple little pineapple. Um, and you could scale it to make it bigger if you really want to. Uh, but I do like the keychain kind of size versions. So with that being said, I am using my four, four millimeter hook for this little pineapple. I'll set him over there for a minute. I've got my sunflower yellow yarn and I've got a little bit of my green for that top. But to start with, we're gonna have magic circle, of course. And then six single crochets in the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll pull that tight. Our next row, we will have 12 stitches total, so six increases. So one and two three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, and then eleven and twelve. Ooh. All right, four my next row we're going to do another increase row so we'll be going out to 18 so we'll have an increase and then single crochet so there's one and two and then three four and five and then six seven and eight and then 9, 10, 11, and 12. We'll have 13, 14, and then 15, 16, 17, and then 18. So this is the bottom of our pineapple. For our next row, we're going to do back loop only, and it kind of gives us this little edge here where you can kind of see, let me hold this so you can see it the best. So you see this loop, this is the front loop of this row. So it kind of creates a little edge shelf there to change direction, okay? Whenever I do this, I like to do a slip stitch first okay and then start my um, single crochets and we're doing back loop only just 18 As much as I do crochet, even sometimes I mess up or end up splitting the yarn. And I did 
do a single crochet into that slip stitch that I did before I started this row. Okay, so when you have that slip stitch, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Um, so this is the slip stitch, and then I started the back loop onlys. And this is where my back loop onlys finished. And because I had that slip stitch, it kind of makes it a little bit more seamless instead of having our back loop onlys, you know, be way up here and our other back loop onlys down here. Okay, so it kind of brings those two a little bit more together so you don't have such a big gap there. So from here, we're gonna have five rows of single crochet. So there are rows of 18. I'm gonna do the first two here and then use my stitch marker because I don't wanna to count to 18 that many times. And the word I was looking for a minute ago was hospitality. Pineapples are a symbol of hospitality in the South. After a long day of chasing tiny tornadoes, sometimes the bigger words escape me. <laughs> There's a couple different brands that use pineapples in their designs pretty often. And you could certainly use some of their color schemes for your pineapples. I know one that I'm thinking of right now is lots of pink and kind of almost neon colors. So you could do a super bright neon-y pink with a really light blue kind of crown on the top. And I do use my yarn tail, or my start tail, I call this my start tail, um, to kind of finish off at the end. But if you don't do that, if you just weave in your ends, then go ahead and tuck that sucker down inside your pineapple here so it's not Getting on your nerves in your way. One, two, three, four, got one more row. And this is definitely one of those patterns where you don't have to have the absolute exact count for it to turn out right. So. All right, from here, we're going to do nine decreases. I'm gonna take that stitch marker out. So there's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So I'll stop right here and stuff my little pineapple. And just make sure that you don't stuff it so full that you can see the stuffing through your stitches. We just kind of need it to hold its shape. All right. I'm going to do... Let's try three more decreases. One, two, three. All right, so then I'm gonna do my slip stitch and trim off my yarn. And for this, I'm not going to worry about sewing this shut up top because I'm going to be sewing that pineapple crown up there anyway. Okay. So I'm just going to tie my little slip knot in here and then tuck it down through the middle. I'll use my yarn needle to kind of pull that back up. Trim off our extra. Okay, so this is the main part of your pineapple. Nice and easy, right? For the crown of your pineapple, on this one, I just had five leaves, but you can do more if you want to do more, right? Um, it's really easy to make, and it's really easy to add more to it if you want more, okay? So I'm gonna start with a slip knot. I did a chain six for these. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna turn, skip that first chain, go in the second one, and we're gonna do slip stitches all the way back down. So that's five slip stitches, just in case you need the actual count number. And that's our first leaf. Easy peasy. So for our next you know four to ten however many leaves you want to do we're just going to repeat the process you're just going to do your chains one two three four five six and then your five slip stitches back up the leaf And then I'm gonna do six more chains and then five slip stitches. So you can do five, six, seven, eight, nine, however many leaves you want to add. I do recommend doing at least five because when you do fewer than five, it does look a little weird. And I like to do things like this in odd numbers. It just kind of makes it look more aesthetically pleasing. 
That was one of those things they taught us at the fancy art school I went to. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just kidding, I didn't go to art school. I did get a bachelor's of education in, or bachelor's of art education with a minor in design. So I was an art teacher for Oh, 12 years. Mm, I think I'll do two more and see how that looks. So art teacher for 12 years out of college. And then I became a stay at home mom. And I'm still a stay-at-home mom. I just have a one and a two-year-old now. <laughs> they keep me busy. And I have a 10-year-old. All right, so once you've finished the number of leaves that you're going to do, just cut a little bit of extra yarn to kind of help you sew it to the top of your pineapple. Thread this on my yarn needle. I'm, let's see. Make sure this is all kind of facing the right direction. And I'm actually going to put a couple stitches through the leaves to just kind of hold them together a little bit better. So I'm not fighting to hold them in place while I'm sewing them on the top of this little pineapple. Alright. So I'm going to go in some of these last decreased stitches. I'm going to use those to sew this too. And I'll go down through my leaves. I'll go in the next decreased stitch from the yellow. And then down through some leaves. And my apologies if I kind of get out of frame when I move my setup around. Or try to zoom in to show something a little bit closer. Sometimes I forget that I don't have quite as much view space as I would normally. All right. So I'll do another one here. I think I like the seven better. All right, so I'm going to pop my yarn out the side, and I've got this starter tail. So I'm going to do my little square knot. Just like that. Thread this onto the yarn needle so we can tuck these ends down inside our little pineapple. And something that just popped into my head. I'm not a SpongeBob fan. But this would look super cute as like a little Spongebob house. Just saying. Alright, so five leaves, seven leaves. I kind of like the seven leaf a little bit better. A little bit fuller, kind of more like a real pineapple would be. You can obviously keep going and add more leaves to really make this a much more realistic and full crown for your uh, pineapples 
but that's it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the little pineapple pattern, nice and easy for you. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see other videos as they get posted. Uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I really love seeing how many people um, are watching and enjoying these videos and learning to make some new things. So thanks for the support, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.